Hey, what's up guys? Bajira here. Just got back from an awesome chest day in which I actually was able to bench press 315 for the first time in a long time since I started my diet. Last time I did 315, I was weighing about 220. And uh, right now I'm 195, a lot leaner and apparently just as strong. So that's really, really good. Now I'm just only thing I got left is to get my squat back up to where it was before I started dieting too. Because my deadlift has already surpassed my previous deadlift max when I was uh, when I was 220. Used to be just I could do 315 on all three and now I uh, got my bench back up, got my deadlift up to 365. And I probably could do more than that, but uh, as you guys might know, I don't really max out a whole lot. But I had some friends at the gym today and uh, we were just bench pressing and we got the 315 today. So that was pretty fun for me. I'm proud. Um, this workout, however, is a leg day that I was doing. And this is a leg day that I did coming off of a rest day. So I felt really shitty, <laughs> just to be completely honest with you guys. Um, I did get through some good squats. I think I only really worked up to 225 today. Uh, I was just doing reps at 225. Didn't really feel like going heavy. Which is something that I feel like I've gotten a lot out of in terms of my training over the years. I'm not the kind of guy who trains super duper heavy. I really prefer to get moderate weight and really, really solid reps, like moderate weight with moderate reps, like I'm doing right here. I think I'm, I've got five plates on the side of this, um, but honestly, it's a leg press. You can probably put the whole gym on there um, and you know, you'll probably still be able to do it, but I'm trying to get really, really low, just about as low as I can get and get a nice clean squeeze and stretch in this exercise. And uh, this is after I did my squats for the day. I, obviously, I was not able to record my entire workout every time, but I did have enough time to, and a, a chance to record some of these exercises, so I'm sharing them with you. Uh, I do want to talk about my, my diet changes a little bit. I want to tighten up the belt a little bit metaphorically, and I guess, I suppose literally. <laughs> um, I want to tighten up the belt a little bit and trim my diet down just ever so slightly more. So, before, I was getting up to even around 2,900, 3,000 calories. Right now, uh, a lot of you guys have been asking about my macros. So the way my macros are looking right now, uh, after tightening up my, my diet just a little bit more, my macros are looking about like this. 250 protein, so about 1,000 calories from protein. Uh, 200 carb, and that's coming down a little bit from around 250 carb. So down to uh, 200 carb. And I'm going to lower that a little bit more as, as time goes on. Just going to want to get used to it. Because when I lower my, my carbohydrates, even just like a little bit like 50 grams like that, I do end up feeling it. Because, you know, it's 200 calories. So, um, anyway, so I'm at 200 carbs. And now I can eat up to 100 grams of fat. But I really don't think I usually get up that high. I really think I only probably get to, you know, maybe about 70. And that's, you know... the that's probably an overestimate anyway, but I get up to, uh, I, I think I sometimes fill that in with a little bit extra protein just because I eat a pretty high protein diet. But yep, that's about my, that's about my macros right now. So a thousand from protein, 250 grams of protein, uh, 800 calories from carbs, which is 200 carbs, and then up to uh, 900 calories from fat, which is 100 grams of fat. So that's how my, that's how my macros break down for right now. Uh, so I'm eating anywhere from 2,500 to 2,700 calories right now. And I'm thinking that that's going to help me get a little bit lower than 195. I've been holding pretty steady at 195 recently. And I think if I just trim that, just the carbs down. Don't really have to cut a lot of fat. Don't, don't really want to cut a lot of protein. I probably could eat less protein and higher carb or higher fat. But I really, I, I found, you know, foods that I eat that I'm very comfortable with. They make me feel good. I enjoy eating them. And my macros eating those foods uh, break down to about that 250, 200, 100. And if you guys are interested, and I think that some people are, uh, I can make a sort of what I eat during the day, dot like a diet video. I can just sort of film you a day's worth of eating if you want me to do that. Uh, because, you know, I, I'm not the kind of guy who is, is too picky about what I eat necessarily. Um, I do end up eating the same thing pretty much every day, though. So it's, it's kind of like... <laughs> It's kind of hard to explain, I guess, but I mean, you know, for example, I eat things like Cliff Bars, which probably do have a pretty high sugar content, but I eat them because I really, really like them and they make me feel good. So there. But I guess I could just tell you while we're doing some really, really light front squats here. Um, pretty much I wake up in the morning, I have two to three Cliff Bars. Sometimes I'll have a snack before I go to the gym, you know, I'll have some, some of these vegetarian hot dogs, something like that. Um, and then I will go to the gym and then I will come home, have two scoops of protein. And then I will have two salads, which are just like, you know, some some butter, lettuce, and some sort of protein. And then after that, I will have yogurt. And then that's about it for, for my night. That, that's what I eat for my day. And it's, you know, keeping it a little tight, but that's okay with me. So that's what, that's how it breaks down for me. And I, and I am really comfortable eating that pretty much every day. 
And then on my refeed days, I might throw an extra, you know, depending on how I feel, I might throw an extra yogurt in there. I might throw some, uh, maybe some extra Cliff Bars in the morning if I feel like eating extra Cliff Bars. Um, maybe I'll throw an extra salad in there, which doesn't really help me refeed on carbs, but it's just extra calories, and sometimes that's just how I feel like eating. You know, I'm, I'm the kind of guy, I really, really like protein. It makes me feel good. So that's what I eat a lot of. But uh, anyway, so one of the things that's helping me, helping me with my leg development, especially my hamstrings, is um, straight legged deadlifts, or Romanian deadlifts, some of you guys call them. And I've also been doing these recently. They're sumo deadlifts. I keep my legs really, really far apart. And it's kind of hard to see at this angle, but this is, you know, this is, this is what I've been doing to try to get my legs to grow. And so far, it's been working, as we can see in some of the progress videos. But anyway, I just wanted to make a really quick uh, workout video for you guys, give you some updates on my diet, and I can make a sort of day, day of eating for, video for you guys if you're interested. Just let me know, and I'll be happy to do it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace!